Monday, happy Monday. All right, so we're gonna get this week started. Yes, all right. And uh, what I would like to talk about today is uh, our characters, our character traits, uh, and the difference between that and, or how it links to our attitude. And I'm going to be the guinea pig this morning because I can talk about what I did wrong really well and how it went about and like that I'm not picking on anybody. So for example, uh, and as some of you may know, I am naturally, by character, this is who I am, relatively intolerant, I am very quick to judge, and I have a really hot button that is really easy to push, like I react really quick to certain things that I don't like. And it's true, I swear. So this is my character, this is who I am, I know that. And this is something that was pointed out to me very early on in my life by my friends and my family. And I told them point blank, like, this is who I am and this is it. <laughs> um, and then later on in my life, I noticed that my character was actually costing me relationship and opportunities and it was adding to my stress and I already had social anxiety and it just added to that whole thing. So I learned to embrace who I was, uh, but also adjust it. <laughs> and this is where it gets really interesting. We don't have to forget who we are to be able to adjust our behavior when it comes to our environment. And it is okay to allow ourselves to be who we are and, and embrace it 100% without beating ourselves down, all the while working really hard to adjust that behavior so we can get what we want, so we can get those connections, so we can embrace those opportunities and win at life instead of destroying relationships and self-sabotaging our opportunities because we decided one day, well, this is who I am and that's that. And if that's where you're at, that's okay. I'm just saying there is a way out of it that you can actually wiggle painfully your way through and get more out of the situation. So when it comes to being intolerant and judgmental and quick to respond, Yes, sometimes it still comes out. And sometimes I still tell myself very quickly how judgmental I am. And it's like, okay, this is judgment, so how can we adjust that? I learn to breathe a lot. So sometimes people are wondering what I'm thinking. It's because I'm breathing. <laughs> because I don't want to respond that fast anymore because sometimes very hurtful things come out. And Sometimes it is my intention, sometimes I will stick to it because we need to speak up for what we believe in, what we stand for. And, when, and I want to be very clear, and I've been in the past and I will be forward very clear about that. There is a difference between being brutally honest when it's not helpful and being brutally honest when confronted with misogyny, racism, hate, homophobia, etc. There is a difference. So if somebody is cutting you off in front of you and you're like, well, they're just a bunch of idiots, they don't know how to drive, that's judgment. They could be in a rush. They could be with a pregnant wife in the back just trying to get the... I mean, there are so many reasons that somebody could do something like that. Now, if somebody comes to you and say, you are an abomination because of who you are, it's like, uh, no, <laughs> this is where we draw the line. So there is a difference between those two things that we can learn to appreciate. They are the difference of opinion and the difference of perception. And we have only one side of a story. And there is everything else, which is hating other people because they are other. Okay, I want to be very clear about that. So when it comes to, back to my intolerance, um, and judgment, uh, and quick buttons, we learn to breathe. It's like, this is who I am, yes, but it doesn't have to be how I behave, yes? So you are who you are, perfect, with 
stuff and your behavior is your choice. Your behavior is what we learn to excel at because of the choices that we make. So when I decide to stand up for something that I think is not fair and is not right and is hurting people, that is a choice. Some people say nothing. A lot of people say nothing. Uh, that's a choice. When somebody tells me something I really don't like <laughs> and I choose not to say anything because I don't think it's going to be helpful at that very moment, that's a choice. And we learn to control that by practice. It's all about practice. So your choices are going to define your practice and your practice is going to define the outcome. So whoever you are, it's okay. At some point, if you notice that the way you come across in the world is costing you relationships, opportunities, connections, you have the choice to practice a different behavior and apply it so you can get the outcome that you're looking for. Yes? Great. All right. So I'm going to give you that to simmer over for the week. If you need any help with it, I'm always available. If you have any questions, I'm here for you as well. And until next week, reach for the greatest version of yourself. You can do it. Bye-bye.